Welcome back to Fan Talk. I'm David. I'm Simon. Yep. Well, uh, Quentin Tarantino has his ninth movie coming out. If I'm careful, I might actually be able to rattle off the other eight, but I'm not going to embarrass myself in case I can't. <laughs> uh, also, if I couldn't, I'd have to throw in Kill Bill as two separate entries just to really cover myself. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, yeah. and um, I'm really looking forward to it. About a couple more weeks from now, and uh, there's been a trailer out now for a short time, but I thought we'd go ahead and take another look. Yeah, let's watch it. Ready? Yeah. Leonardo. Oh. Always the same characters that he has in a like, great lineup of people in these movies. I have to say, the first time I saw this, I was like, that Harvey Keitel? And I was like, that's, that's Pacino. Yeah. How did it take him this long to get him in one of his movies? I don't know. It's perfect. Oh, well, we'll call back to uh, Gloria Faster, too. <laughs> <laughs> The man. Hollywood in kind of golden age of late 60s, early 70s. Uh, a little bit of it reminds me of, uh, doesn't remind me of, but throwbacks to Little Boogie Nights as far as the time period. It's obviously a different side of this business. I just really love how Quentin Tarantino is so good at these period films, mm -hmm. at, at making them right. And it's like there's so many people that really struggle with it. and. His are always spot on. And obviously being a part of the movie business, this is probably not some a different kind of insight that you rarely see. I haven't quite figured out the um, the total overarching plot, but being Tarantino, I'm sure there's uh, you know several things going on at the same time. Yeah, it seems like, I mean, obviously there's going to be some comedy. It's a Quentin Tarantino film, but it seems a little more serious than some of his other films. Are the Robbie? Yeah, from, from the preview, it looks like it might fall a little more serious. I'm curious what this like ranch uh, cultish looking thing is before I'm thinking it is or not. Um, and also it would be surprising if this is a, a linear begin to end movie without yeah. time jumps. Yeah, yeah, very true. Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> As I think of the thing. Luke Perry, oh man, this must be his last movie. Oh yeah, um, I think it was. Um, one thing Tarantino has always been awesome at it is casting. Yeah. I and mean, even, he's always had a good script or anything else, but one just think is just in solid at casting, find the perfect person for the perfect part and that can just completely revitalize a career. Yeah. Looking at you, John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> well, not just John Travolta, though. I mean, like, that's a perfect example. But, I mean, a lot of actors and actresses who you hadn't seen in a long time come and do a Quentin Tarantino film and their careers explode again. So. Right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, coming out here in just a couple more weeks, um, I'll definitely be uh, seeing that one. I think I've seen the last several Quentin Tarantino movies. Uh, the um, the uh, Hateful Eight, the... Um, uh, obviously, Django Unchained. Uh, that was a good one. And uh, the Kill Bills, and that's probably when I first started seeing them in the theater. Before that, they were always rentals because age and <laughs> other reasons. But um, uh, yeah, definitely gonna be seeing that one. Yeah, and we'll uh, come out and do a review of it after we watch it. So uh, keep tuning in and uh, like and subscribe. Yeah.